If you want to learn how to use Canva for YouTube, then you are in the right place. There's a new feature in Canva that's going to help you tremendously with your thumbnails. Best part, this tip is absolutely free. We're going to use a YouTube thumbnail size and I'm just going to create a blank one just to show you how to do this effect. I'm just going to grab one of these templates, select your text and you would go up here and click effects. There is now an outline effect. So I'm going to click that and it gives your text an outline. And it also varies depending on what font you're using. And I'll show you what I mean in a second, but you can change the thickness of the outline. So the outline's really thick. You can even change the color of that outline if you want as well. And so that is super fun. My personal preference on my thumbnails for the font that I use is white and black. In a Chrome browser, you can even select the eyedropper and choose a color from your thumbnail if you would like. So you would just keep trying different things until you find one that you like. I mentioned that it varies depending on what you're doing. And I'm going to just get rid of all of this so that we can take a look at the text itself. And I'm going to change the background color to black. If I change it to a different font like Anton, which is my font, it looks slightly different. The edges look different. If I change it to this, your edges are going to look slightly different. It takes the shape of the letter. So this one has more of a rounded shape, whereas Anton has more of a boxy shape. And I'm going to show you how you can make this even more professional. And I'm just going to make it as large as I can so that you can see the full thing. So I've got the word features here and you're going to notice there's all these little holes, especially if I reduce the thickness. And so I'm going to show you how I'd fix that. There's another new feature in Canva called draw and it's over here on the left side on the panel and you can choose pen, marker, highlighter. There's an eraser for things that you've drawn. There is a click tool so you can click things that are on the page without drawing. There's a color and there is a weight. So you can change the size of each pen and you can even change a transparency. In order to make this, you see, so I'm, I'm drawing here. Let's see if I can just erase that. What I want is to grab the color in this so that I can get rid of those holes. And I also want to, I don't need the weight. Oh, that's transparency. Let's see. I'm going to increase it to 36 and I'm going to see how that looks. Yep, that's going to be good. So now what I need to do is fill in these holes. I'm just going to do it a little bit at a time. That way I don't mess up anything. And then I can just fill in these holes. And I'm going to go here, fill in these holes. Now, each time I let go of the mouse, what happens is that it creates a new image for me. I just want to see how that's going to look. So I'm going to select this one, which will allow me to select one of the drawings or anything on the page, really. I'm going to click position and now I've got a layers panel and this will show you each one of those little drawings I did. So I'm going to move feature up and sometimes I have trouble getting it all the way to the top. So I just move it to the second spot first and then I move that first one down. And then I click and see what I think. So I'm going to go ahead and select the marker again, give that, fill that up a little bit more. I don't know, I might leave that one. So we'll go back to position. Again, I'm going to do the same thing, move feature to the second and move that down. That's not bad. 
Now, if there were spots that I really wanted it to be a little more precise, what I might do, I'll get rid of that in a second. What I might would do is just um, click R on my keyboard and then try to get it right on the spot. And I can do that by using the arrows on my keys. And I'll go to position and I'll do the same thing. And that looks pretty good. And I would probably do the same thing there, but guess what? I don't need to create a brand new one. I can duplicate this one and bring it down. That's pretty good. I'm gonna take this. So the layers panel is good for a multiple, multitude of things. I'm gonna take this and bring it to that little spot. And now we've got a pretty great word. Let's see what it looked like smaller. I'm going to select everything here. And that looks pretty good. Now, typically, I would do it in black. But I decided today just to show you off that I can use other colors like pink. And I might even would go in and, and, and color this in too. But just play around with it. It's pretty cool that I can decide to change fonts and everything after the outline effect is made. If you want to know more about some of the new features that are in Canva, then I highly recommend you watch this Canva tutorial right now. If you like today's Canva tutorial and want to see more like it, then make sure that you are subscribed and I'll see you next time. Bye!